couple walls, that's a timeout. <laughs> Grateful for the ups and the downs now. Keep moving on, yeah. Keep moving on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Miss Nationally Mary here. Say hey, babe. What's going on, guys? Guess what we're doing today? <laughs> First came the house, now comes the car. God's timing is so perfect, right? Gerard was saying we need to get the house first and then get the car. And it seems like God made sure that happened. So today is the day that I go pick up my new car. For those who follow my journey for a while, you know that the car was supposed to be here in January, but there were so many delays, so many headaches, frustrations along the way. Let me just say customer service at Mercedes has not been the best at all. But we are praying that today will be better. Most likely will though, because the commission check that the sales associate is gonna get should be quite good. So I'm sure he'll be on his uh, best customer service behavior today. So we'll see. We're running a little late, so I'll probably fill you guys in once we have the car. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like and everything. But before we get into that, let me show you guys my makeup look, my get ready with me. And we're gonna get into some mini home updates. So call you back <laughs> hey y'all so by now you all have already seen the clip where i talk about my new car but i just really quickly wanted to share some updates at the new home that's where i am currently which is so weird to even say having the first experience walking through the door after closing driving into the garage sleeping on an air mattress all of that jazz has just been amazing i still cannot believe that i'm a homeowner Y'all, it literally didn't click that this is my home until we pulled into the garage. That was such a cool experience. I was telling Gerard, it feels like we're driving into an Airbnb, but not our actual home, if that makes sense. But I am so grateful to God that this is even my life right now. Years ago, maybe about 10 plus years, I wasn't even able to be approved for an $80,000 home. So to be in a home that's this size on the scale is just all God. And I'm so grateful. And I wanna thank you guys for all of your well wishes, your prayers, and the amazing comments you all left under our empty house tour. We were just smiling from ear to ear reading them. Some of you guys have been a part of the journey since the very beginning when I moved to Texas and I was still single and then meeting my husband, getting married, and now moving into my new home. So <laughs> this journey is going to be amazing. I hope you guys will continue to share, continue to support. We appreciate you guys, but let me just share some updates really quick for the home. Not a whole lot going on, but we did stay here this weekend. So we haven't stayed in our new home for the past few days. We aren't actually officially moved in yet though. That's going to happen at the end of next month. We still have to sell all of our furniture. We decided to just stay for a few days just to get some little things done around the house, like our security system set up. We also have pest control come out to spray, which is imperative, especially when you do a new build because the doors are open the majority of the time that they're building your home. So all type of bugs and stuff get in the house and you want to make sure that you rid your house of all of that. So we have pest control come out and we're going to have them probably come out every three months to spray and all. So we had that. We also had the flooring people come. Y'all, the prices were kind of interesting for what we wanted. We shared with you guys that we potentially wanted to get flooring in our master, also upstairs in the game area, in the hallway, and my closet. And for that, one particular flooring company quoted us like $17,000. What? Another brand actually charged half of that, which was so much better. So we might end up going with them, but we're still on the fence about whether we want to get the master done because Gerard said he really likes carpet in the bedroom, which I really want wood flooring because I feel like aesthetically it'll look better. And I will put a rug under the bed. I already have a really, really cool design that I've been 
cook it up. So it's gonna look great. But we're still kind of toying with the idea of keeping the carpet in the master, but we'll see. But right now we're at the stage where we're really just comparing prices to make sure that we get the best price possible. But let me show you guys the little decor I set up in the bathroom. So far, I've just added this vase with this pompous grass. I can't remember if I got this on Etsy or on Amazon. This was actually from our apartment. I just brought it over. And I bought this tray for our soaking tub. I've always wanted to put a little tray just to add a little luxurious feel, make you feel like you're having a spa experience at home. So I'm gonna put this tray on the tub. So this is what it looks like. And I went with this color just to add some contrast to the room. The cool thing is that you can extend it so that it fits the size of your soaking tub. And this is what it looks like when you extend it. There's an area here so that you can place your soap dishes. And then you can also pull this back and put your iPad or even your phone so that you can watch a movie while you're in the tub. So I'm really a fan of this. It also came with an adhesive so that you can stick it to the tub so that it won't move. So these are just a few changes that I've made to the bathroom. Of course, I'm gonna be making more, but I'm loving it so far. All right, so it's still empty in the living room. Nothing's happened in the kitchen. I do wanna go ahead and order my bar stools. I'm still deciding on which ones I wanna go with. I'm gonna put them on the screen. You guys tell me which ones you like more. There's a set from CB2 that I feel like almost everybody has, but I feel like it would really look good in this space and be simple enough to match all the other furniture that I'm thinking about. So I might end up going with those. Another option would be these gray suede bar stools, but the gold on those, I'm not really sure about. I feel like it's a bit too shiny. I kind of want something with a vintage or a brass style gold, and I haven't been able to find that. The color scheme for our house is pretty much gonna be earth tones. So your browns and grays and also black and cream, I'm gonna be adding pops of those into the design. So for our counter stools, just to add a bit more contrast, I feel like gray would be a better option. And these are really, really nice, but I feel like the gold legs are too shiny. So I'm gonna have to keep doing my research and also go into some stores maybe this weekend to explore. So we'll see. Right back around. Vacation, I take it so easy, like I learned it from a K man. Hey, so run it up, cloud nine. Now run it back, know it sound nice. Now hold tight for the sunlight, cause when it all goes down, it be right back around. Right here, right now. Both feet on the clouds, right back around. No, you can't slow us down. While we've been here, we also had somebody stop by. To look at our office. I also shared with you guys that I was gonna have somebody come in to explore doing built-ins for our office as well as doing my custom closet and that person came in about two days ago. I'm actually gonna put on the screen some designs that we discussed. For the office I'm looking for kind of bluish grayish toned built-ins and the desk will be like a brown color i want some cognac accent chairs it's going to be a really cool design now they're not going to add all of those features they're really going to focus on the built-ins we were actually exploring colors for the wood and there was one that was a charcoal gray there was one that was a navy blue and then there was one that was in between like a gray and a blue but i felt like that was a little too light i originally told her that i wanted kind of emerged between gray and navy blue. And she suggested that color, but I wasn't really a fan of it. I felt like it was a little too light. 
So I'm kind of leaning more towards the navy or the charcoal color. It might end up being the charcoal though, because I feel like it will kind of really seamlessly flow with everything else in the house, because you all already know like our floors in our master are a charcoal gray, and then also the fireplace is charcoal gray. So that could really create just fluidity throughout our home. So I might go with that. And then for the closet, we went over some different designs that were really, really nice. I did share with the consultant that I was also considering the IKEA pack system. And she did share with me, while IKEA is good and it's also affordable, that their shelving isn't necessarily the most durable. And also it doesn't fit your closet as specific as they would be able to fit things. So the first stage of the process was really her coming in to kind of get a sense of what I desired, also to measure the space. She thought that all of my clothes were here, but they're not. All of my clothes are actually at our apartment. So she's gonna come this upcoming weekend to take inventory of all the things that I have. And I told her to beware because I have a lot of stuff. I have to do a major purge on so many of my clothes. I'm probably gonna give some of it away to Salvation Army or like donate it to women's shelters and also give some to my sister, of course. But um, yeah, I have a lot of clothes I have to get rid of, shoes, bags, all of that. I really need to do a really big purge and also maybe do a wig sale soon because I have a lot of wigs I have to get rid of. Y'all, there's so much we have to like sell and give away and all of that. So you all be on the lookout for a sale, especially for our furniture. We have, you all know, I think I told you all that we're not bringing any of the furniture. Well, we are. We're actually gonna bring over our master bedroom set into the home. And that's gonna be our guest bedroom furniture. But apart from that, everything else we're planning to sell. So you all be on the lookout for when we post about the things that we're selling. Go ahead and get your ideas together. I'll actually link our apartment tour video in the description box so you guys can kind of take a look at our place. So if there is something that you want to purchase, if you're in the Dallas area, you can kind of be prepared for that. Y'all, I also got in our cabinet pools. I found them on Wayfair. Uh-oh. I found them all way clear. Let me get it. I hope this is all of them, but I'm not sure if it is. I have so many. And we're gonna open the boxes together. I ordered them last week and they came in fairly quickly. I think this is all of them, but I did get an email saying that I had some other items from Wayfair and that's the only thing that I ordered. So this is probably not all of them. And these are supposed to be a dupe from Restoration Hardware. So you all know everything at Restoration Hardware is super expensive. But I found these on Wayfair. And they are supposed to be really heavy duty. I got them in Honey Bronze, I think. Which is a gold color, but it's not too shiny. It's like the perfect gold for me. And many of the reviews share that these don't change colors or anything. So it's awesome. And the size I think I got is six. Six and a half. I'll put it on the screen. I know it's six inches though. Now we have to find somebody to install these because we're definitely not gonna attempt to do that. Oh, they look so good. This is the perfect color. Can y'all see that? So this is what they look like. Let me show you against one of the cabinets. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like. This is perfect. Or should I have gotten them longer? Hmm. What do you think? What? Can you come put that here? Should it have been longer? No. Well, or these are fine? Long. Yeah, these are fine. Come, come put it there for me so I can see it. Sure. There's a recommended size. And you well, a lot of people get like five inches. I got six, but our cabinets wow. are so long. Uh, yeah, I, I think that. No, I think it goes there. I'm gonna have to look it up. I don't know. I don't think it's towards the middle though. I love them. And I'll add the link down below in the description box in case you guys are interested in these. But I feel like these are the way to go. Okay, so these will be the pools for most of our cabinets, the ones that I just showed you. And then for our smaller cabinets, like the ones at the top, we're gonna go with these door pulls. Hopefully they'll get in focus. Can you all see that? Yeah, so these will be on those. We also have some small cabinets in our bathrooms that we're gonna put these on. So this is what they look like. 
And both of these are in the color honey bronze. Now let's get into the door, y'all. This is the last thing before we hop into the card clip, which I'm so excited about. But y'all, our door, when we closed, we didn't have the right door on. We had the standard door on our house. And typically when you close, you're most likely gonna have your door. You're gonna have a lot of your items, especially your upgrades, already installed, but that wasn't the case for us. When we moved in, we had a standard door in, and we were told that our actual door that we purchased would come in the day after. The day after, the door did come in, but it was the wrong door. So I'm gonna show you guys what that door looks like. Very different from the one that we paid for. Y'all, we were so frustrated when it came to this door because I feel like the door really elevates the look of the house and it's a modern style door which is what i originally desired on the model home for our builder they have this door and i loved it that was something that i for sure wanted so having another door was just not what i desired but i'm going to show you guys our door it hasn't been painted okay so this is what it looks like coming from the entryway so it's currently white but it's supposed to be a really dark brown and it does have fiberglass. I'm gonna show it to you guys from the outside. So in the empty house tour, you all did not see this door. You saw the door that they put on that was not our door. I don't even know where they got that door from because that's not the one we ordered, but this is the one we ordered. It's gonna look really good with the color of our garage. I feel like it just brings the whole look of the house together. Because right now, this is what it looks like. And it looks okay. But once that door has been painted, it's going to look so much better. And during our home tour video, we didn't even mention the door being off because we were so excited about everything else. But I cannot wait until they finish the door and all the other outstanding things that we have going on. But yeah, now let's go pick up the car, guys. to wear today this red faux leather blazer from asos i need to wipe it down i don't know what i got on it and then my new bag here this by versace now for my bottom i'm deciding between these good american skinny jeans they fit me really well or these wide leg joe's jeans that i just got these are actually very stunning and they're curvy girl approved they fit me so well no gapping in the back. I hope I have time to show you guys my outfit of the day at some point. All right, y'all, so this is the fit for today. I am loving it. I decided to go with the wide leg jeans instead of the skinny jeans. I just felt like this was more my vibe. These jeans fit so good. Look y'all, no waist gap or anything. This is my first time trying Joe's jeans and man, I'm gonna buy some more. 
These fit me so well. I do have to find a heel. I think I'm gonna go with these Ajay heels. This is what they look like. I believe I may have worn these for my birthday. And y'all disregard all this happening in the back. Y'all know I'm in the process of moving. So that's why it looks kind of chaotic. So yeah. I'm also gonna spray on this Baca Rouge 540 because why not? Now let's go pick up the car. You matching this car? It looks like you. I think you should get it. Don't even try to open it, babe. That's a nice one though. It look like you. Look like money. Do look like me. Look like money. That look like you though, MB. MB with the MB. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I ain't say it, you said it. <laughs> Y'all Gerard gonna get this one. <laughs> Y'all, it's time for the big reveal. There's the car. We're gonna pull it off. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the moment she's been praying for, for a the, year or so, and the moment I've been crying about. <laughs> What are we gonna call her? It's up to you. This is your car. This is your your baby. You decide. Mrs. B. Mrs. B or Mrs. T. <laughs> Inside joke for the OGs that know what's going on. This will be Miss Vivi while we wait on the name change. Yeah, yeah. We gotta invite it. That's the source of it, folks. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay. All right. First thing first, I'm gonna keep cool. I'm gonna take the ball, bro. Do you need help? No, I'm gonna just lift okay. it up. Okay. So I don't drag it. Okay. You know, sit her to the side. This is nice. And I got the rest, bro. Oh, you got I don't need to help you. You want to help me? You can help me. Okay. Or I can do it. You I can just, help you. Just grab like the corner of it. Okay. And we're just gonna pull it back. Are you ready? Okay. You ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. I don't think you're she ready? I don't think you're ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. I don't feel it. You ain't excited. Yeah, I'm good. ready. You ready? Yeah. On the count of three. One. Two. Are you ready? I'm ready. My heart is like. Are you ready? I'm, I'm Three. Ready. <laughs> I'm like, it looks so good. Oh my goodness. It's like a stretcher. It's yours, baby. So the thing about this, it's a beautiful car to think about. It. It's a black car, so it's gonna tell everything. Yeah. So if you have I immediately silver, saw these little right, marks here. I thought black. they were scratching. If it was a silver or another car, like yeah. when this car is dirty, everybody's gonna know. Yeah. If you got a silver car and it's dirty, it might not show as much. I've always wanted black. She okay. looked bad. Well, I'm gonna stand Miss out the B. Way. Mrs. B. She's looking good. I love it. This is the 2023. I was originally supposed to get the 2022, but we got upgraded a little bit. Just to provide a bit of clarity, when I originally started this process, I was seeking to purchase the 2022 GLC 300 formatic coupe. I started the customization process with this dealership in January, and I was supposed to have my car in July, but in July, I was told that my car would be delayed until maybe August. In August, I was told that it would be delayed until November, and around maybe October sometime, I was told that I was now gonna get the 2023. I didn't even really get a full explanation as to why that occurred. It was just through email, your car is now changed, which also comes with a price difference, which I believe was maybe around $1,200 to $1,500 more. The way things were handled for this entire process for me has been quite challenging, quite frustrating, as I stated earlier. I'm just glad I have my car, finally. Now let's get into some of the features. AMG line with the sport package, with mm -hmm. the lavish set of grill, the bumper, and all that. Okay. Uh, upgraded wheel, engine wheel, and then of course all these are standard right here. So we went to standard, and uh, after car play, I shouldn't have to use it later. So we did get a summer. They were from us. Or is this a mini? Is this a This is a Sunday. This is a Sunday. Oh, that's good. The best standard. It is standard. The standard. 
Okay. On the That's regular cool. one, either you got the big panel on the roof uh -huh. or the or nothing at all. Okay. This one, because of the curve, you cannot get the panel roof. Okay. Standard, so. No, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Is this for the 23 or the 22? 22 is for all the coupe standard. Okay. It's just the, the regular one, is either you have no roof at all or the big center roof. Okay. Don't you see the camera all around so you have two of this? Mm -hmm. So, and then when you get close to something, stop beating that, you just walk. There's another great piece from that, especially with a lady. Let's say you go to Costco or Walmart or whatever, and you're like, I don't feel safe. I don't know. Angry. That's a camera. You choose angle. You can see all around you. You can step out. Okay. And that's like a little mouse. My friend has one. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's a oh, mouse. It is? Wow. Yeah. Oh, mouse control that. And, you touch and the yep, there. you can. Uh, Hold on, am I not doing it right? Yeah. Oh, you, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's how you right navigate. Now. There you go. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, like a mouse pad. Choose comfort for me. Comfort, comfort. okay. Select, that's, press down, select. And then you need amber lighting. You can do one color. Right, right here, right here. Or you can do the multi-color. Mm -hmm. Okay. The little mouse pad. Right here. Oh, okay. So it's amber lighting. What you see right here, all blown right here. Oh wow! Right? And then at night you see more it's like down that's here too. Oh, that's nice. cool. So we have a mouse yep. here. Okay, that's awesome. It's uh, amber lighting. You see the colors on the two sides right here. Uh -huh. In the back too. If you look in the back, you can see a lot more. You see it? See how? I don't the, really see it back there. Right by the door. Oh, I see it yep. now. See, see. Now, how do we get to navigation? So the car does not have navigation right now. Okay. Right. If you want the Mercedes connected to my phone, right? Yes. Okay. Well, if you want the Mercedes navigation, you can just buy the software at seven twenty-five dollars. Most people don't do that. Mm -hmm. because when you connect your phone in, your phone mirrors to the car, so you can use the whole screen here. How so. do you mirror it? So you just gotta connect it in. So yeah, you just gotta Bluetooth. The, the, use a cord. Well, use a cord. Uh, so. It will connect right in here, just like when you charge your phone. Mm -hmm. It will start working on there. I have a, oh, that's perfect. Sir, I have a question. Huh? So, if, when she downloads the Mercedes Benz app, does it is it an automatic starter? Yep. She can yep. start it from her phone, and then that's from her phone. Yeah. Oh, wow. Lock it, lock it. So you you can lock it from your phone, and you can start it from your phone. Among oh, other that's things. cool. Yep. Of, you so can, you, you can locate the car to its wall. Yep. So you tracking. should download your uh, app. Mercedes Benz. I'll show you how to do it later. Okay. Afterward, after we uh, start it first. Yes, okay. Let's see this leather interior. But we're, we're actually going to come back to do this. I, okay. This was just you checking it out. He's going to give us plenty okay, of time here. to. Here. I do want to check the trunk to see if, yeah. I, I believe if you wave your foot, can we get that? There you go. You oh, that was me? You have to wave, you just kick it. Okay. Like that. That's cool. There you go. Oh. Okay. There you go. Okay, and then when I want it to go down. Yeah. The key has to be within three feet. Okay. Yeah, so. You need awesome. Yeah. So, and then you can lay the seat down to as well. Just press these right here. You have a lot of stuff to move. This will come off. You can put all, a lot of stuff on here. Oh, that's perfect. What did you, what did you? This right here. Okay. Right here. Yeah, you're going to have to play with it, Bubba. You're going to have to learn this car inside well, and out. Well, you show me so then I'll remember how to work these features. You're going to have to play with it, though. It's one of those things you ain't going to remember. You're just going to have to toy around with it. And then we have a tire here. Yeah. These are one flat, so if you have a flat, you can drive up to 50 miles. Mm -hmm. Of course, if it's longer, then you can put the spare flat on if needed. Okay. Four wheel drive, so you can actually take on uh, the mountain if you need to Colorado, or snow, or whatever. Okay. So now we're going to start her up, y'all. See what she's working with. She sounds real nice. It actually doesn't even feel like it's my car. So weird. Come on, sweet thing. I ain't that easy. Yes, you are. I ain't that easy. You good and easy. You Come on, sweet thing. Hey, Open this can, car with you me. Can, you can't get me with your car. I ain't a, I ain't a sucker for a car. <laughs> you a sucker. I ain't a sucker for a car. I got you for less. You can't get me. Come on, get, hop on in here. You can't get me hop with no car. Yes, I can. Finally in the luxury car club. Guess who's next? No way. <laughs> Gerard don't even no he way. doesn't care about any of that. Good. He I'm is good. good. Yeah. But it's our car. It's not just my car. It's, it's your car, baby. It's, it's our your, car. your car. You gonna be driving it around. No way. <laughs> He's the chauffeur. When we ride in that thing, you drive. Oh, I'm driving every time? 
I mean, at least for the first year, you know. I, I think I think what's the purpose of getting it if you're not gonna drive it? I'm gonna drive it, but so go for it. I long for the moments where I can be chauffeured around. No, you to have okay. you drive. Yeah, we we've done a, in my my Mercedes. <laughs> in, in his Mercedes, yeah, the Citra. Black Beauty. Black you know Beauty. Saying? She paid for. It. Reliable. We have been all across the states, New Jersey to Texas, Houston to Dallas. I mean, she's hanging in there for a long yeah, time. She's solid, solid as a rock. Been faithful. Faithful. Time to trade her in. Old faithful. Trying to get the F one fifty. Old faithful. <laughs> you know, we are gonna keep that thing. We riding that to the wheels fall off. Oh, okay. Yes, man. When it comes to saving the dollar, he gonna save it. Oh, he <laughs> definitely is. I love it. I love it. We need we need that balance. Gotta have that. You know, so it keeps that longevity in marriage. Absolutely. Yeah, he definitely so, balances me. New car, car, new house, new baby coming soon. Oh, I wasn't supposed to say that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why you say it? Why you say it like that? Like a pregnant or something? Right. Not I might say yeah. Not yeah, not ain't telling me. Maybe. Not yet. <laughs> maybe. I haven't taken a test. But don't I don't think, think, think I am right now. But if the Lord has already blessed the womb. Then we receive it and we give him praise. But I don't believe I am right now. <laughs> That'll be my celebration. That'll be your celebration. You gonna go crazy for She need a push gear. So what's the push gear? See, that's why I keep you around. Yeah. My push gift, he would say, is the house, the car, everything I already Listen, have. We, uh, say it again. Yeah, yeah, Carrying yeah. life. As a matter of fact, the washer and dryer about to get delivered tomorrow. So that's like, not that's not a push gift. They got right. You need a gift when it comes when it comes out. You need a fresh okay. a fresh gift for her. Yeah. All right. Well, I give her a couple months to heal up, and then we we'll go back at it again. Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> but what's the gift that you're gonna give me? Martha, tell Martha about the gift. We'll take a trip, a trip after. You know what I mean? You know, maybe have mom or my mom come up and stay for a week, and we'll take a trip. New moms there. don't leave their babies. I do it. You gotta do it for a week. Do it for a week. Yeah, I guess I'm not getting a push gift. Yeah, not a real one. Not from this one. Oh, week. a vacation. A vacation. Oh. That's yearly though. You take a vacation yearly. <laughs> right. This, this is a different vacation. So we're gonna have like three that year. One at a time, baby. One at a time. <laughs> Taking them too fast. What is your ideal push gift? Oh, I, I think a getaway. I think a getaway. I don't know. It would Isn't be it supposed to be something that he gives me, not something I had to tell him. I mean, some women like bags and cars and all that, but I don't think that's necessary. Something nice, little man, that he came up with on his own. Oh, the pressure. Oh, get away. A nice little trip. You like massages? Make sure massages. So I have to wait until the push gift to get a massage. No, I'm telling you, I'm saying that's 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 my ideal for you. I know what you like. You like a massage. Can I have a massage tonight? What's, 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 See his face? What's the significance? I just got a new car. <laughs> you feel what's up? Your, your wife wants you to lay hands on her. If your wife wants you to lay hands on her, you lay hands on her. I guess you, you should see him at the house every time I ask him. Right. You should be the only one laying hands. He pulls you out that little massager. You saw the machine we have. He pulls it out every time. Listen, that's, that's not what she wants. That was part of the deal when we bought that thing. You know what I'm saying? No. We're going to buy it. We're going to make sure we use it. No. We can still use your hands every now Same and then. Same thing I'm too. telling you about this car. We're going to make sure she drive it. <laughs>you mean speakers there's speakers in the car what you talking about no 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 keep it classy keep it classy yeah.